If I would have sold my wife a dream when she was my girlfriend, then wouldn't our life had developed into a nightmare? But since I told my wife the truth, can you not see how that truth turned into the Satan's nightmare? Because if I wouldn't have been true in everything I said, then what truth would I have taken into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, which would allow me to prove that the life that we live was the life that we earned on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. So how about if my life made my friends go crazy, right? Like, cause if I asked them for help and they looked at the situation at the time, but they didn't look at the work that I put in, right? Then how then could they then say that um, they know what I was going through or they know what anything, you know? So if I put in preparation for which is defined as the act or process of making something ready for use, or service, or of getting ready for some occasion, test, or duty. So if I put in the preparation, but then I asked my family and friends for help, when was they prepared? See, now they told me what they believed I should do. They told me what they believed Jesus would do. But I was telling them what the law said to do. But they didn't believe in the law. And so I'm saying, if you don't believe in the, in the law, how do you believe in God for whom you read about? So if the God, okay, let's see, God. See, so now. God is defined as the supreme or ultimate reality, such as the being perfect in power, wisdom, and goodness, who is worshiped as in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism as creator and ruler of the universe. Now, if that God does not believe in the law, then how can that God defeat evil? With what? So if you're going to use the written word to then say that you know God, then how would any, and according to the written word, you know Jesus through when he was in the flesh, the people who you go to church to didn't know who he was. And all through the scriptures, every time he encountered them, he say he saw their hypocrisy. They sought to kill me. Why do you seek to kill me? But yet you think that those people who don't believe in the law to this day, but use the law against Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee, why then won't they tell you the law? If they use secular law, they use the laws of Rome. So that means they took Jesus out of this God's care, the being perfect in power, wisdom, and goodness. See, they took him out of that because they supposed to be the person who is, who is perfect in power. If they teaching you, how can they be imperfect in their, in their understanding and your understanding be perfect if your understanding is off of their understanding. So now, if if who you are learning from can't come into the judgment hall because they're afraid to defile it, then if you read your scriptures, they are not followers of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. 
they are followers of the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the chief priest, the high priest, the scribes, and the elders. That's why they try to get you to come to court. I mean, excuse me, they get you to come to church and they get you to come to court. See, both, right? Think about it. You go to the church, the church tell you, you got to reap what you sow, go stand up and, and, and you know, you know, you made a mistake and God going to love you and all this. Him. But now when, when I went to Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church to get the state, I mean, to get the church to then judge the state, the, the leader of the church turned his back on me. Now, how is that leader not the same as the high priest Caiaphas? The only difference is I was coming out of the courts into the church. The church took Jesus, the temple took Jesus out of the temple and took him into the judgment hall. That's the only difference. But when I, but, but, a Pontius Pilate turned his back on Jesus like Pastor Willis C. Barnes turned his back on me. And then the, then the state tried to uh, crucify me, but through le le uh, lethal injection. Okay, how about if I wouldn't be me, a believer in the Florida Constitution, in the United States Constitution, in the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights? the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, nor the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and I took uh, the law in my own hands. Now, what you call take the law in your own hands is me violating the law. See what I'm saying? But what I call put, take the law in my own hands is taking the law from the abusers of me and the law and then putting the law that they abused and uh, and that they used to abuse me and the, and they actually abused the law itself and then I'm charging them for see um pretending to be the being perfect in power wisdom and goodness who in who is worshiped as in Judaism Christianity Islam and Hinduism as the creator and the ruler of the universe because if he is not, because why is the world now created based on money and not ability? So if Jesus said, give Caesar what's due Caesar, then wouldn't you give Caesar his paper back for, for your people? So now, if I am the creator of Tamika Rayshawn Castle and Tommy Chancey Castle Jr. And I'm married to their, to their earth, which is their mother, Benita Elaine Epps Castle. Then why would I then trade, if, if I believed in Jesus, why would I take money that this devil took to make my family not believe in me, right? and not my property back. <laughs> See, the, and my friend, these is, they told me to let the house go, I should have took the money. <laughs> and I'm saying, well, if I took, if my house was worth $615,000 and they was offering me $400,000, they say, well, man, I would have took the money. I'm saying we were fighting over the house. We were fighting over a six, $615,000 house. Now, you're you not going to give me my house, but you're going to give me money. And, and, and I go to black people, ministers and everything. Well, not ministers, because ministers is, is Muslim, right? So preachers and reverends, I'm talking to them. <laughs> they tell me now, but they say in their father's house, there's many mansions, but they tell me to give up where my children and wife resided for money. And I'm saying, well, well, how do we live in the money? They couldn't understand what I was saying. I'm saying, well, brother, I'm in court fighting over my house and I'm showing you where they violated the contract. 
And if they can foreclose on me, if I violate the contract, why can't I foreclose on them if they violate it? But them, they, this is what I'm telling you kids. How can you be in a fight and it's different rules? They can eye gouge, they can punch you, they can rabbit punch you, they can hit you after the bell and you can't. <laughs> and then people say, man, you getting beat up. Am I? Man, I, I can't swing, I can't, I can't do nothing. And if I do anything, then you gonna charge me. But now everybody see you done hit me after the bell, you choking me, you poking my eyes. You, and then the black man said, I'm just saying, man, Jesus gonna save you. <laughs> Jesus? Well, well who, who he praying to? What God he praying to? Then they get mad with you. you. You say, well, brother, I'm telling you these people violating the law. You telling me you don't believe in the law. But then you believe in the written word and, and you call that the law. So now, okay, now I'm going to go get the law that the Christians say they believe. This is Hosea 9 of the King James Version, the Bible Hub edition of Hosea 9 versus, uh, well, I say Hosea, but it's H-O-S-E-A. So y'all probably say it different. I say Hosea. Uh, so that's 9 verses 1 through 17. See, now this is what lawyers do. See, this is what I'm, t that's what I was trying to tell the young brother I was talking to yesterday. See, what a lawyer do or a prosecuting attorney is they go get cases and they reference cases to the crime you committed. If you committed a crime, they go get other crimes to show uh, a guideline for sentencing. So they say, well, you know, in this case here, this was the, the verdict or this was the opinion, right? So now, if you don't believe, if your preachers and you religious people do not believe in the law, the, the laws that govern us all, you don't believe in the Constitution, you don't believe in the Bill of Rights, but if you a Christian and you believe in the Bible, this is what Hosea announces Israel's punishment. It says, Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy as other people. For thou hast gone a whoring from thy God. Thou hast loved a reward upon every cornfield. The floor and the wine press shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim, now this is what I say, E-P-H-R-A-I-M. Now hold on, I'm gonna see if, it, if I can look it up. Oh, not that. Okay, hold on, I got him. So this is what I'm saying. So we, you know, cause if you don't know what's going on, like I keep saying that, but I really mean that. So now nah, they don't look, wait a minute. I'm trying to get the spelling right. E P H. Now E P A E P A R A. Okay, now here it is. So let me see what he say. Ephraim. Ephraim. I was close. And now he is a uh, well. It's a hilly region region of ancient Palestine. Now in the West Bank. Oh, and then, no, 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 this, and no, okay, so the Mount Ephraim is named after this person here, a son of Joseph, and the traditional um, Ephraim, uh, wait a minute, hold on, let me see what this is here. Eponymous. Eponymous, of or relating to or being the person or thing for whom or which something is named. So he is the eponymous. Uh, ancestor of one of the tribes of Israel. So now, is he the leader who led the lost tribe astray 
And he one of the leaders. So see, how about if I am a, a, of the inheritor of the lost tribe of Israel, wouldn't that be the one that's deceived? See, how would you be able to find your God if you being deceived in your in your search for him or her? Okay, now, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord. Neither shall they be pleased unto him. See, see, so see, that's what you're doing to me. That's what you did to Jesus, Dr. Martin Luther King, Minister Malcolm X. See, it's too much history against the spiritual world that goes all the way back to Hosea testifying against your unclean understanding. So see, you do not believe in the laws that will show you approved. You believe in the scriptures that's describing you to a T. And now you can't see yourself because you are blinded by your own success. But your success is monetary. It's not proven by law. See, my success and my wife's success, I went in the court as the creator of the economy that we was living, and I went and proved its legal establishment. And I did it with the laws that establish religion and basic rights and uh, freedom of speech and, and press and in accordance with and you violated due process and access to the courts. So see, how can you be who, see, they shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord. See, you don't help me with the weed that I smoke. See, and I don't drink wine. <laughs> see, so I don't even want that offering. But you, see, you, see, you, they, they shall not offer wine offerings. See, so you, even if I was a wine o and I proved myself in court, and now I'm a drunk because you rejected me. You supposed to offer me wine because you gave me a disability. You, see, but you don't want to look at what I got to do to survive your emotional trauma, even though I go and show you on the third day this medicine, this remedy to overcome your ignorance was given to me and the creator of this whole universe said it was good. And you tell me it's bad for me. But you can't even come to court with me. But it say they shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord. Neither shall they be pleased unto him. Their sacrifices shall be unto them as the bread of mourners. Mm. All that eat thereof shall be polluted. <laughs> See, man, come on. That means all this stuff in your mind is pollution. That's why you can't deal with my truth. See, so you persecute me because you because you persecuted the truth at the beginning of your existence. You crucified the truth. You a liar. Your whole existence is a lie. That's why you have to sell it. You have to sell it for Caesar's glory. That's why you take the money of your of your God. See, I am who I am. That's why I am doing what I've done. And now I am testifying to what I did. I'm not pleading the fifth. See, I'm throwing myself on the mercy of the court. <laughs> See, I'm saying this is what Jesus, what else could Jesus do when y'all sitting here destroying him? See, so how can a slave be saved? when the slave don't even want to recognize that they slaves. So it says, uh, shall be polluted for their bread, for their souls shall not come into the house of the Lord. <laughs> Boy, look at you. See what I'm saying? I don't want your money. That's what I'm telling you. See, and you have no ability because you, you, you didn't develop. You just allowed somebody to stunt your growth. And now you have nothing to offer but your body. And you a child 
Do you see how sick that is, man? Somebody just re reduced you to being on your back for money. Man, wake up, children. See, a father would not want his children exposing themselves. See, that's why Adam knew that they were naked. And that's what y'all naked. Your souls are just polluted. And you're doing it for money, but what about your soul, your spirit? What about one day your children going to see you? See, you just looking now and you're not looking in the future, looking back. So you just in the moment and you doing what you think you got to do. But if you got to do that, why you can't do something else? See, if you got to do wrong, why don't you have to do right? See, if I if I didn't do right, then I have to pay for what you say I had to do. See, but I don't have to be stupid. I don't have to be ignorant. I would choose to be ignorant because I'm too intelligent to say that I was temporarily insane. See, I'm too intelligent because if I if I claim insanity, in any stage of my life, how can I prove competency? See what I'm saying? So, you, you know, let that, let that marinate there. But it says, so, for their bread for their souls shall not come into the house of the Lord. What will ye do in the solemn day and in the day of the feast of the Lord? That's the question that Hosea is asking y'all because you, you miss your court date. The feast was in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. That's when I pay all of you, that's where I pay all your debts on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. Then you got indebted again, and then I paid it again in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. And then I'm paying them again now by giving you the knowledge of when I paid it then and you missed the court date, you missed the feast on September 11th in 2023 at 7.15 in the morning. And see, you still polluted. See, see, Hosea now is testifying against your, your sickness that your religious teacher gave you in the name of Jesus. And so it's a for, for low. They are gone because of destruction. Egypt shall gather them up. Memphis shall bury them. The pleasant places for their silver needles shall possess them. So now, needles. No, nettles. Nettles, excuse me. Nettles. I bet you Netta, she probably was saying something about that. But Netta know what I'm talking about. So and Netta know who she is. And so let me see, make sure I... Nettle. Nettle, I say so. All right, man, let me get back to what I'm doing. Okay, is uh, any of a genius um, or cheaply coarse herb, herbs armed with stinging hairs? So... That's some herb there too, but it is stinging. So, okay, now. Okay, and uh, shall possess them. Thorns shall be in their tabernacles. Okay, now let's let's talk about that. Let's see what that is. See, now, thorns in your tabernacle. Now, this is my man. This is what you say you believe. Your house of worship. <laughs> Come on, man. God, come on, man. Y'all, y'all show, boy, y'all, I see why y'all don't want to go to court. <laughs> boy, y'all, there's so much trouble. It's thorns in your tabernacle. You call that a place of God. But <laughs> the laws of God saying it's thorns in there. And I know because it's legal thorns in there. And now it's spiritual thorns in there. Because Hosea is now testifying to what I saw, and I'm testifying. So wouldn't uh, Hosea and I now be in agreement? So wouldn't God now be in the midst? So, so when are you going to be, see, for lo, they are gone because of destruction. See, when is that going to come, see? Now, this is seven. The day of visitation are come. See, that means, see, the day of visitation. Let's see what that is. 
See, cause see, the visitation came in the courthouse because you took G, your 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 ancestors took Jesus out of the temple. They took him into the judgment hall. Now, I took Satan into the judgment hall, and now Hosea is calling y'all into the judgment hall out of the churches where y'all took Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. And now every man, woman, and child got to carry their own cross after you cross me and my wife and our children out of our lives. So now if you say Jesus is your father is your father and he is the one that you done destroyed my family for now you need to, you need to come into court with your father and 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 then justify what you're saying because this is the visitation defined as an instant of visiting an official visit as for inspection see in the civil and criminal courthouses in seminole and orange counties on the state of florida in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and now in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world on September 11th in 2023, at 7 20 in the morning that's the visitation see, see but now you want to act like it ain't happened see but i'll come the days of comp recompense are are come so now let's go and recompense see this is what y'all say y'all believe but it, you've been violating this for 15 years and you've been taking up tithe money and taxes, and you haven't paid yet. Recom oh, well, let's make sure I'm saying it right. Recompense. <laughs> Recompense. I had it right. So, okay, to give something to by way of compensation as for services rendered or damages incurred. So now, I have charged you with, with, with the damages that I have incurred in accordance with in accordance with uh, Amendment 14, Section 4, and you have refused to pay, and you say that you that you read the Bible to show yourself approved, and you claim to be a religious state, a Christian state within a Christian country, and you're violating Scripture as well as law. So this is Amendment 14, Section 4. You have enslaved me, my wife, and our two children, and our corporations, Folk Houses Incorporated, as well as Chancey Incorporated, and I, as the founder and the, the God of this structure, this family, the creator of it and all things in it, has, has charged you with violating the uh, United States Constitution Section 4, I mean, Amendment 14, Section 4, that says the validity of the public debt of the United States uh, authorized by law, including debts incurred for payments of pensions and bounties for services in suppressing insurrection or rebellion in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning shall not be questioned in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. But because the United States of America on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning aided and abetted the state of Florida in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties on August 12th, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning in making President Tom and Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, Petty Officer Third Class, Tom and Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, Tom and Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, a slave in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, for which is why the law says, but neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in aid of insurrection or rebellion against the United States 
in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. And because history says that the United States of America bailed out the financial institutions that violated Amendment 14 of the Constitution, Sections 1, 2, 3, and 4, plus 13, 14, 15, 16, one all the way to every last one of them in court in the court of law against four counties incorporated now it says so now or any claim for the laws of emancip or, or emancipation of any slave including king tommy chancey council senior of four counties incorporated so now you by your crime has made me a king just like by the crime of King George III made George Washington a president. See, your crime has turned me into a king because your president is actually your king. So I had to checkmate your president who violated the Declaration of Independence. So how am I not a king according to history's ledger and your laws? See, but see, the slave will never accept their king because they're slaves. They, their king forced himself on them. See, but a loving king has to be accepted. That's why they talk about rejecting knowledge because when you reject knowledge, you reject the truth. So now, uh, so... As come Israel shall shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity, and and the great hatred. The watchman of Ephraim was with my God, but the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways, and hated in the house of his God in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. See, that's my house. See, once Satan came into my family's house, my wife, children, I went and made the courthouse my permanent resident. See, I'm case law. I'll never come up out of there. I'll be in there forever, eternity. I'm a case against the state of Florida and the United States. Man, you can't change that. That doesn't happen. So all you can do now is read it and weep. <laughs> That's it. It's over, man. I, hey, they have deeply corrupted themselves as in the days of G, uh, Ghibli. Uh, well, but I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to say G-I-B-E-A-A. -E so <laughs> hold on. That was another boogeyman there. I was like, wow. What? I didn't even want to try that one. <laughs> I just... I just gave it to y'all, but I'm gonna tell you, I knew I was wrong on that one. <laughs> I, knew, <laughs> I knew I was already wrong, but hey, hold on, let me try to get it right, though, because, you know, I can try to see what's happening to him, but, but I'm gonna tell you, it's looking bad. Hold on, because that one never was a show no boogeyman never, boy. G-B-A-H, it's hard to even remember that. that no, it, it ain't even there. They say no. So I don't even feel so bad, but uh, that one, that was a rough one. So y'all got that one, G-I-B-E-A-H. Therefore, he will remember their iniquity. He will visit their sins in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida, on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and then and now on September 11th in 2023 at 7.28 in the morning. See, so I'm now doing what Hosea said would be done, but you say Jesus did it when you crucified him. So now won't you come to court and now testify to how Jesus' crucifixion save you from this prosecution on your day of judgment, your day.
that you've been sitting up here not developing, but saying that somebody going to save you and you say Jesus already saved you, so you should be able to come into court with no problem. But it say they have deeply corrupted themselves, <laughs> so that's why you can't come in there. And 10 say, I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first ri first right in the fig tree at her first time, but they went to Bel Por, so Bella Pora. So look, B A A L. I know that's Bella, and then P E O R. So that's Pora. So Pora. So that I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm saying I'm. Hey, I'm. I'm teaching myself. <laughs> so. Hey, to me, that's what it is. But to you, it's probably something else. So I'm spelling it to you so we can be on the same page of what you think it is and what I said it is. But let me get back because it's getting long. And it say, and separated themselves until, until that shame. So why would I have shame in my truth? Wouldn't my truth show that I'm not corrupted? How do the truth corrupt? <laughs> See, lies corrupt. So now you can't come to court because of your shame. And their abominations were according to their loved. <laughs> See, that's you love Jesus, and now that's your abominations. See, you love Jesus more than you love your children. See, you worship Jesus, you don't take care of your children. You suffer, you give to the church, but you don't give to your children. See, so how do you love Jesus and you don't love your children? You should invest in your children because your children is God. They're your helpmate. They're going to help you when you can't help yourself. So you have to help them first so they can know how to help you. But if you don't know how to help yourself, then they're going to pray just like you pray. And there ain't nothing going to be done but prayers. But when are they going to be answered? But okay. Um, as for Ephraim, uh, Ephraim, or Ephraim, Ham. Their glory shall fly away like a bird. Oh, my goodness. From the birth and from the womb mm, and from the conception. Man, ooh, look at that, man. You ain't got nothing. I, boy, I told y'all, I told my grandmama, man, you better get out that church. I was a little boy, I told her. I said, man, and look at this. Their glory shall fly away like a bird from the birth and from the womb and from the conception in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008, at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning and now on September 11th in 2023 at 7.31 in the morning, man. Everything done flew away from y'all, man. <laughs> y'all done, man. Jose is saying... It's over. You got you. It's over. You miss your court date, man. Though they bring up their children, mm, though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them. So let me see. Bereave. I think that's B. -E. Let me see. Man, this is gonna be a little long. Y'all may not listen to it, but hey. But y'all ain't listening to them anyway. My grandbabies are listening to them. So yeah, this is. Let me see what this is. To, to deprive, so let me see. Bereft. Bereft. Damn, that, that ain't no ref. Oh, but look, it's B-E-R-E-V-E-R-E-A-V-E. -E -E -E. How that's bereft? Bereave. Oh, that's bereaved. Oh, it's bereaved or bereft. It's two of them here. So it's bereaved. I was right. To deprive or some, uh, to deprive of something. So to take away a valued or necessary possession, especially by force. So so that's what's supposed to happen now. That's why I'm breaking it down. So yeah, I will t it's basically say take them by force. So I will bereave them that they that there shall not be a man left. Mm. <laughs> yeah, whoa, also to them when I depart from them. Mm. Y'all, boy, look here. You hear me? Y'all finished, man. <laughs> y'all, where y'all at, man? Y'all been teaching this? Uh, look, Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, 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 T-Y-R-U-S, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. 
in the civil and criminal courthouse <laughs> in seven other orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. And then in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, Ephraim, that's when you're supposed to bring your children to slaughter. <laughs> But you say you killed my son? Shit, I'm laughing, bro. Shit. I'm laughing, bro. <laughs> you fucked up, man. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, September 11th. On 2023. At 7.30, 4 in the morning. <laughs> Why I found you. <laughs> Your children gotta die. Give them, oh Lord. What will they give? Give them a miscarrying wound and dry breast. All their wickedness is in the Gil, Gilago. So it's Gilago. G-I-L-G-A-L. Hold on. Let me get there so I can... Whoa, and y'all mess with me like that, man? Oh, my goodness. I, and I ain't even no Christian. And you never thought I was... Man... But I, I'm glad I read the Bible. Because, boy, if I wouldn't have read it, you'd have got away. See, now I'm calm. <laughs> See, now I'm saying, hey, man, this biblical. This got to happen. So this is what y'all believe. So that ain't, um, they don't, so it's in Gil, Gil, Gail. That's what I say. So, so for there, I hated them. Mm. Ooh, whoa. In the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. I hated you motherfuckers. You, you hear me? And then I, in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. And now y'all to kill my son on September 11th in 2023 at 7.35 in the morning. For the wickedness of their doing, I would drive them out of mine house. I would love them no more. All their princes are revolters. Ephraim is, smite, is smitten. Their roots is dried up. They shall bear no fruit. Yea, though they bring forth, yet will I slay even the beloved fruit of their womb, God damn it. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> oh, whoa. In the civil and criminal court. See, I'm washing my hands of it. In the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. Then in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. And then y'all killed my son somewhere after then. So on September 11th in 2023 at 7.38 in the morning, I would slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. My God would cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. And they shall be wanderers among the nations in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning. And then in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th, 2018 at 9:20 in the morning. And then on September 11th in 2023 at 7.37 in the morning.